Hey what's up guys, so a few days ago I made a new account on Overwatch. The purpose of this account was to play in low bronze rank and climb all the way to masters. Now I did finish my placement yesterday night and got placed at 750 SR, which should be a good place to start at. Since then I'm actually sitting at silver rank right now, but before we get into my experience playing from bronze to silver, I want to talk about why I really felt like I wanted to do this little experiment. Keep in mind that I will also be making a video from silver to gold and so on all the way to masters. So basically every time I finish my placements on my other accounts, I've placed in high platinum, 2800 SR maybe on an estimate, and every single time I've climbed to diamond fairly easily and I've been close to masters a couple of times. Now that means that I've never really experienced the extremely low low ranks of overwatch and how it feels to play at that rank and as someone who never really believed in elo hell i feel like if you do the server rank you're probably going to get it in the end no matter how long it takes you should get there in the end of the season or somewhere close to that this is in my opinion a good way to see if it really does exist at the extremely low ranks and if so, in what kind of form. So right off the bat, I want to say that for someone who is not a professional Overwatch player like IDDQD for example, and is only a high diamond player like me, there are games in bronze that will actually be out of your control to win. Even games when I had 50 eliminations and like one death, I still lost some games due to the fact of having no healers and every single time I had to go in alone because my team just went in one by one, we had no tank or anything and the enemy team actually had a decent setup and there's just not much you can do. For example if you were facing a Torbjorn Symmetra combo which is really really strong at that rank because people really don't know how to handle that and someone already picked Farah for example and you're really good with Farah and you know that you could have done something against that combo with Farah but they just won't swap off and you're pretty much just screwed at that point. A very strong indicator I noticed quickly with players in bronze is that D.Va and Junkrat are the most likely and most popular picks in the entire game. Both their ultimates are not really dealt with at all and usually get team wipes or at least multiple kills, clearly showing that bronze players have quite an issue with game awareness or aim maybe at that when it comes to shooting the Junkrat tire, but mostly it's just target priorities I would assume. I think that in all the games I played from bronze to silver, the least picked character must have been Ana. I'm not quite sure why, but I assume it might be because the ultimate to players at this rank feels quite bad. The games I saw her in, her ultimate were usually used on random tracers, maybe junk rats, or even other support sometimes, and it really never had any impact on the fights. And you know, that feels kind of lackluster compared to maybe our junk rat team wipe with his tire. When I was going to start off in bronze, I thought, there's no way anyone is ever going to be speaking in voice, no one is going to type anything, there's literally going to be complete silence and everyone is just going to play like it's Call of Duty, you're not going to speak to anyone, you're going to be doing your own thing and hope to win. I was actually wrong to a certain degree. There are people who actually talk, but most of the time it's to insult someone or tell them to swap to another hero, even though it might not be the best cause. They still do speak sometimes, but it's actually not very tactical at all, it's never target calling, anything like that. It's always Junkrat swap off, you're not doing anything, or my team sucks, and all of that kind of stuff. So really, there are people speaking, it's rare compared to Diamond rank and all that, but there are people speaking, but they're not really saying anything useful ever. I think I had a one game, which I will uh, be playing in the end, just a sound clip of that, where there was actually a guy who was very positively vocal and was uh, very active and that was like super rare. In all the games that I played, he was the only one who was actually calling out things. So the last thing I want to talk about is something I'm expecting to not only see at bronze, but most likely all the way to maybe low tiers of gold ranks, and that is people do not punish you for bad positioning. Now this comes down to mechanical skill mostly and overall just game awareness, but there are multiple times where I can play Genji and jump around a soldier or McCree or for example a Reinhardt for ages and not get shot at all from anyone or even looked at at bronze rank. I think as I go up in ranks this is going to be harder and harder to do, to be in a bad position and not get punished, but I feel like all the way to probably low gold it's going to be okay to be in bad positions and not always die, but above that I think people will definitely punish you for bad positioning way more. 
So my conclusion to this rank all the way to silver is I did not feel like I was stuck in bronze at all even though some games were pretty much impossible to win. The SR that I kept gaining was way higher than I was losing due to my personal performance being pretty good in all of the games I played. That's actually the reason why I feel like elo hell doesn't really exist. Even if you would be losing 50% of the games I would still be climbing SR due to my personal performance being above my rank. A few bad games can happen but in the long run if you deserve a higher rank I feel like you will absolutely get it but then again you can also argue that bronze is way way too easy for a diamond player and then when I get to maybe platinum or low golds or mid golds that's going to be my elo hell because I am going to have big troubles with that rank maybe and I won't be getting as much SR that I'm getting right now and that is going to be the parts where elo hell happens so we will have to see in the future videos but as of now I did not have much problems at all going from bronze to silver so I thank you all for watching this video so much and if you did like it please let me know in the comment section below and uh, have a good day guys hey, you're actually very vocal and it's actually really nice Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> yeah it was a compliment there's like no one ever play uh, talking in bronze so it's nice yeah no i don't think so like you're playing pretty good that game